So for my second dish, Lindsay, I've gone to the uh, Southeast Asia and I've got inspired by an Indonesian curry and coconut milk. And I've uh, sauteed collard greens in a uh, little oil and the onion and curry paste. And then I've added, well, some mirin and then the coconut milk. Just for about eight minutes, I, I closed the lid and just allowed that to steam. So about 10 minutes, all said and done for cooking that. So that's the greens part of it. With the grains, I've chosen quinoa, and then I've taken the soaked uh, chickpeas or the canned chickpea. Uh, I've cooked them if they were just dry, and then I soak them. Uh, if they're canned, I'll just drain them, and they're already cooked, of course. And what I do is I roast them in the oven with a little bit of rosemary and sea salt. And so I'm combining that into the quinoa. And to that, I'm going to add some dried fruit. Here I've got some candied ginger and some uh, sun uh, dried sultanas or raisins. You could use other dried fruit like uh, craisins or currants as well. I'm gonna drizzle that with a little bit of olive oil. Once again, it's about a, a third of a cup portion uh, per serving. And then I'm going to plate that um, for each serving with the delicious roasted flavor, the sweet flavors of the, um, the dried fruit. And then here I have a delicious, creamy, rich, and uh, unctuous uh, coconut curry braised collard greens. And I can't tell you how delicious this meal is uh, with so much nutrition and um, a, you know, a decent amount of fat from the coconut milk and the, um, the chickpeas, but really, really delicious. And I'm just gonna finish that to amp up the, the protein and the nutrition with some toasted sliced almonds.